It's going to be about Harry and Megan and the Beagle. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah, so let's talk about Harry. So he's got the memoir, the Tim, supposedly the Tell All memoir coming out um, at the same time as I think some sort of an article that talks about the uh, alleged bullying of Megan and why it was or wasn't. I don't know. So there's that. So we'll, we'll find out how the uh, book is going to do for Harry. Now, Megan, we don't need to find out how her podcast is going to do because it's already shot to number one on several different charts. But is that just the novelty of it being a new podcast? And I listened to uh, about a third of the first podcast, and I don't know, I was, but I'm a more visual. I need to see uh, some action on the screen instead of just listening uh, to a podcast. But it, it wasn't bad, but I wasn't blown away. So the podcast, is that going to continue? Uh, Archetypes is a name, and it's empowering women. Then, of course, the Beagle. So they got one of those 4,000 Beagles that were being raised for research animals so they would have never seen grass they would have never seen outside these beagles were being raised for uh, experiments that and they would have been flown to laboratories all over the world and I think the company went out of business I'm not a hundred percent sure I should have looked it up but uh, but they decided to adopt one of them I'm sure you've seen it on the news uh, 4,000 beagles up for adoption and, and they got one I think it's called Mamma Mia if I'm not mistaken yeah and then I just want to touch on, if we have time, the charities. So the cha and I don't even know what they are. I haven't looked them up, but I just wonder the charities that uh, that besides the Invictus Games that uh, Harry wants to, uh, you know, be a patron to, um, are those going to see? Um, and then we'll always have to ask, of course, about their the Sussex's financial well-being. All right. So this will be. Let's start off with Harry and his book, the tell-all book. Is um, is it going to be a tell-all book? I mean, that's what I want to know. Will it actually, is it intended to hurt the royals? You know, and um, will it do well? It has to do well, don't you think? But yes, so will it really tell-all? Is it intended to hurt, and will it do well? Three questions. But uh, before we do anything... Let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay. Harry's memoir. Something like, not the prince I was born, but the man I am today. Something like that. A catchy catchy subtitle or maybe that's the actual title so yeah will it uh, actually be a tell-all um, you know that's that the royal family wouldn't rather be told first thing uh, will it hurt them and will it be financially successful I wonder if I can get all those into one reading let's do a full uh, Celtic cross on that so the tell-all book Harry. So, uh, let's do six cards first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So Harry's memoir, is it a tell-all? It's going to be hurtful. He will he make money? Okay, so the signifier card for this full Celtic cross on Harry's book. Eight of Pentacles. Look at this thing. That's practicing your craft until you get it just perfect. And I love this card. And it's interesting. It's got Megan right here at the desk, kind of uh, orchestrating this whole thing. 
So the questions are, uh, is it going to tell all about the family? Is it going to hurt them and will it be successful? Uh, I think we can say she's not big on holding back information just for the sake of not hurting people. It seems like to me I could be wrong. Um, if she's involved, there's a good chance it's going to make money. And just the mere fact that it's about the royals, how can it not be considered uh, difficult? But that's the signifier, the making money, the Eight of Pentacles, get your practice, get your craft practiced. Um, the um, challenge to that is this Four of Pentacles, which is interesting because at the same time as you need to really uh, monetize that value, uh, here we've got uh, this uh, woman holding those Four of Pentacles close to her heart. And so who could those Four of Pentacles just be her family, herself, her husband, and uh, the two kids? Archie and Lilibet. Uh, so, the base of this whole thing uh, for Harry's book is this King of Pentacles. Look at this. This is about making money. You know, so far everything has been about making money and, and being in charge of it, being in control of it. The past of this is the High Priestess. Wow. The High Priestess is in the past. She's number two on the Fool's Journey. Uh, she is about all-knowing, all-knowledgeable. I think they've got, you know, some good cards uh, for themselves here. Wow. The sky this reading for Harry's book, The Hurt and the Money. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, finding that balance. Pentacles, Pentacles, Pentacles. Wow. Finding that balance, keeping it uh, just perfect. And then the likely outcome uh, for the book is this King of Swords. Truth, justice, rules, law. Okay. King of Pentacles, King of Swords. Harry's in control. I like it so far, honestly. So the last four cards for this um, full Celtic cross about Harry's book, The Hurt, and The uh, Prophet. Um, the very self of that question, uh, is this book um, going to hurt and be profitable? Wow, so it's the fool. This is starting a new journey, okay? I think, yeah, this is just you're taking what you've got, and you're stepping off the cliff, and you hope that it works out well. And these cards have been dominated by a female force, a female spirit, a female uh, energy. Signifier of that question, the fool, new journey. It's in the environment of what? It's in the environment of the moon secrets being revealed. Good grief. Uh, yep, that's what it's in the environment of, all right. So, amazing. Um, so, yeah, secrets are going to be revealed. The hopes of the fears, uh, the hermit. Okay, this is the person who is off on their own, okay? They're shining a light into the darkness, trying to be careful before they take that next step. This couple are on their own, and, they, and the hopes and the fears is that they find their way. That's their hope and their fears. And then the likely outcome of this, and remember the three things I wanted to know, uh, will it tell all, will it hurt, and will it make money? And uh, ah, this is the two of swords having to make a choice. You know, a choice had to be made and this is the value they had to sell. That's what I think. So uh, there's that. So, so let's read it again quickly. So um, this is about Harry's book. Uh, will it tell all and will it make money? And we start out with the Eight of Pentacles, getting your practice, getting your craft, and look, this is the woman who's at the table doing exactly that. And it's challenged by what? Holding those most precious pentacles right to your chest. So those, is, that, is that the Sussex family? And then the base of the whole thing, again with Pentacles, is that uh, Harry is the King of Pentacles. And the past of this is this High Priestess is hopefully they got the counseling or the foresight in the past before taking off on this journey. And the sky of it is just finding that perfect balance, Pentacles, again. The likely uh, outcome of the first part of this Celtic Cross, King of Swords, Harry again. He's the King of his Pentacles. He's the King of his Truth. And then now the question. Okay, is, the, is it going to tell stories? Is it going to be hurtful? And um, is it going to make money? And we get the Fool. So this is the Fool card. Starting off on a new journey. Just got to trust it. And it's what it's in the environment of. It's in the environment of, of course, telling secrets. It's what it's all about. 
the moon card. Uh, the hopes and the fears for it with the hermit card is them uh, being the hermit, really, and hoping they're making the right step. That's the hopes and the fear that they don't. So this is all about them. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing with this two of swords, the truth, justice, a, a choice had to be made, and they think they've made the right choice. So now let's go on to Megan's podcast. Megan's podcast. So it's called Archetypes. And uh, first guess was... Um, Serena Williams, I guess, and um, so empowering women, uh, talking about ambition a little bit. I heard there, and um, and the the podcast has been number one. Like I said, it's not for me only because if it was accompanied by just a picture of them talking, that's all I need. But I need visual. So podcast not exactly for me, but probably a lot of folks will put that on in the car on their iPhones. Uh, while they're working out, while they're doing a jog. I think that's who these people are, the Sussexes. That's the kind of people they are. That they would listen to stuff like this while they're doing something else physical. And that's who this is marketed to. Interesting. So for Megan, let's see. Will this podcast be successful? Will it empower women? And will it make money? Again, full Celtic Cross. We'll do six cards first. Two, get back in here. Three, four, five. Megan, her podcast. Successful, moneymaker, empower women. Let's see. Signifier card for that. Okay. Six of Wands, victory. This woman is celebrating her victory. What's the challenge to it? This even looks a little bit like a, a you know a microphone, you know, a, on a stand perhaps. Wow. The uh, challenge to that then is Harry. It's the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is uh, illusion and delusion, or having to make a choice really. So the challenge to this podcast cast is not hurting Harry and making the right choices. That's what the the challenge is. The base, not getting caught up in that whole thing by the by the um, content of the podcast, perhaps. <clears throat> the basis of this is long-term planning, the three of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And that's exactly what this is. And we can see this, this California girl is getting ready to take off on that uh, surfboard into the future uh, with those plans. The past of this is the devil okay so ill intentions um, so the past of this is ill intentions the podcast could mean a couple things does it mean that this started off as a revenge uh, job or uh, is it the devil that is in the details of living as a royal uh, the sky of this uh, now then is the four of swords and the four of swords are knowing when to not get up. Represented here with a heart. We have the swords inside the bed. Where's the fourth one? I know it's in there somewhere. And so right there. So this is, yeah, knowing when not to move. Understanding your boundaries. And then the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this, her podcast, with the Five of Cups, and the Five of Cups is typically having lost a little something, but having something left uh, to uh, deal with emotionally. So that's good, and it's interesting that it's next to the Seven of Cups, where you're trying to make sure that, uh, you know, are you choosing the right cup over here? Uh, now, for the last part of this, we'll continue the same questions. The podcast, uh, will, well, let's see, will it empower women? Let's do this. Will Megan's podcast empower women? The signifier of that question. Okay, this is a Seven of Swords, Theft and Betrayal. Interesting, because we kind of think of that's where women have been. They've had something stolen from them. They've been betrayed to to some point. Uh, the environment that that's in is uh, with this Page of Swords. The page is just bringing this his truth, this justice, bringing that idea to the front, bringing it to the court to say, consider this. I mean... Will it empower women? It looks like it's, it's yeah, it's dealing with the betrayal and it's bringing the message forth with this page. Just a weak message, really. It's all it can be. The hopes and the fears 
uh, for that uh, will it empower women the seven of wands seven of wands is understanding that you are empowered to protect yourself you have the ability to shield yourself from some actions that are coming up against you you just need to center yourself and own your um, wow this is amazing own your situation and then the likely outcome as to whether it will empower women uh, for this reading is the star card oh yeah oh yeah it's gonna shine a light so this is fan it's interesting that we say will this empower women and it shows a star card and she's almost holding on to it like a kite but in fact that star is wrapped around her hands so having that empowerment is also a loose bind too you have to own it and, and, and guide it. So for the podcast, will it be successful? Will it empower women? Is it going to make money? We have uh, the, the victory card right here for all of that. Challenged by the Seven of Cups, knowing what choices to make, underscored by this Three of Wands long-term planning, which is what this is, is financial planning for the Sus Sussexes. And in the past of it is the devil, and that's all the things you can imagine it would be, getting away from the devilish situation or devilish intentions on the part of the Sussexes. And then the uh, sky for this with this Four of Swords is understanding the danger that you're in and being cautious about moving forward. And with the final outcome of that, the podcast, the money, and uh, the profit, is uh, Five of Cups, understanding you've lost a little something in your privacy, and but you've got a little something left to keep building on. And then will it empower women? Seven of Swords, it's all about uh, betrayal. And then the uh, environment that it's in is getting that message out. The page is a messenger of swords is truth, justice, rules, law, a message. And then the hopes of the fears for that with the Seven of Swords is that women understand they are in power. They can own that bubble if they concentrate on it and pay attention to it. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing is that, yes, they will. it will empower women. And there are binds, although it will, there are still binds that are attached to that. So interesting. Now, last thing I want to talk about is the, well, maybe two things. We want to talk about the the charities, and then we'll finish up with the beagle. So the charities. I was going to do it another way. I was going to say the beagle next, and then the charities. So it seems like we're talking about all these, you know, this money making ideas for the uh, Sussexes, which involves charitable work. So let's do three cards on the charities. Will this? Uh, be a boost will this be something meaning meaningful as far as the charities are concerned one two and three okay will this work out appropriately for the charities okay oh look at me looking at all the cards i'm crazy okay so first one up is eight of wands lots of issues that's good i like that lots of charities Next card up, I'm going to put these in order, is the Six of Cups wanting things to be the way they were, emotionally, really enjoying uh, some sort of a normalcy, and then the, an innocence, and then the third one, the Knight of Swords, is um, the Charities, and this is going after that truth and justice. Yeah, I think it's going to do fine for, the, for all the Charities. And then, the Dog. I'm just going to do three cards on that little beagle. Let's talk about that little beagle dog was he a publicity stunt was that little dog a publicity stunt that's what I want to know one two three and anything else the cards might be able to tell us along those lines regarding that beagle People have had children to improve their uh, appearance. And some might say that, that includes the Sussexes. Um, but um, the Beagle, chasing a truth, the Knight of Swords. It's so much related to that charity. Maybe it is a publicity stunt, but it, it, it involves some of the right reasons. Because we are doing something significant for the charities. I heard that the first million and a half or so of whatever the sales are for that book are going to go to some specific uh, charity for uh, for um, Africa. And I've got the name of it on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite think of it. The next card, oh, the cards are repeating, and that's always good. Um, the, the Beagle, uh, this is all about the charities, making the right choices, just like a repeat card again. And then the last one is Death and Rebirth. Okay, number 13, death. So that's the end of a cycle and the beginning of something else. So um, this little dog 
is uh, his little uh, existence is all about uh, boosting up those charities. Inevitably, it hopefully if they manage things well, it'll also boost their uh, income to be crass. But so that's what I got for the Sussexes. Of course, you never know how these things are going to come out. I hope you agreed with how I read the cards. Um, I love those cards, by the way. And um, so let me know what you think. Make a comment in the comments. Uh, tell me uh, what you'd like me to read on, and I'll read on it, uh, honestly. So, and uh, I think that's it. So, The Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann wonderful cards they're very beachy they're very now uh the container they come in is really nice it has some nice thoughts inside and um the cards themselves and the guidebook all of this is good the um the guidebook although it's not in color it's readable and uh it gives some good ideas as to how you might uh interpret some of these cards of course you know the interpretation is very personal so you have to decide if those inter interpretations entirely work for you. But they're based on the Rider Waite system. And you can see that the art goes right to the edge of the cards. They're very colorful. They're very, uh, they just speak to you right away. I mean, you just, even if you didn't know what uh, uh, the symbols of the cards mean, I think anybody could look at some of these cards and think, oh, okay, this is what it means to me. Like I always say, I love to uh, have someone if we're going to do a reading, kind of spread the cards out like this, and then they kind of get into the game. They start looking at the art, and their mind sort of kind of gets into the uh, into the mode of of let's get some truth out here. Let's get some some tarot reading done. So, Light Sears Tarot, really really nice cards. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. really make a big difference. Thank you.